Benedicite! I am Mary Theresa Spagay from BSN 1A and now we're going to perform the unoccupied bed making. An unoccupied bed is made when there is no patient confined in the bed. And in this bed, all linen beneath the bedspread is fully protected from dust and dirt until the admission of a new patient. Purpose of making an occupied bed is first, to be ready for the next occupant or patient. Second is to prepare the bed for the client's return. Third is to provide a clean and safe environment. And fifth is to minimize the source of infection and skin irritation. Check the doctor's order for any movement restrictions. Good evening, sir. I am Mary Teresa Spagay and I'm from St. Scholastica College of Tacloban. I'm going to do your bed or perform bed making. Is that okay with you, sir? Okay. Sir, may I know your name and your date of birth? Yeah, Nice to meet you, Sir Raymond. So first, I'll begin by gathering all my equipment and I'm going to perform hand hygiene. Is that okay? Okay. I have already introduced myself to the patient, explained the procedure, and asked for his consent, verified the client's identity, and provided privacy. The next thing I will do is I'm going to assess and assist. First is I'm going to assess whether the patient is able to stand up or unable to stand up. If the patient is able to stand up, then I will assist the patient to sit on a chair so I can perform or do bed making. Sir, are you able to stand up? Okay, sir, I'll have you sit on the chair for a while, okay? As I'm going to do your bed, okay? After that is I'm going to gather all the linens and I'm going to place them on a clean surface in the room in the same manner in which they will be placed on the bed. And I'm just going to make sure that the linens do not touch my uniform to avoid contamination. For body mechanics and safety, I'm going to lock on the wheels of the bed and I'm going to adjust the height of the bed in a comfortable working height. After that is we're going to perform hand hygiene and we're going to don on a new pair of sterile gloves. Observe the linens for evidence of items and put them in a secure place in the room. Patients may actually lose their belongings such as dentures and wallets and the bed linen. Now we're going to remove the pillowcase and place the dirty pillowcase at the center of the bed and we're going to place the pillow on a clean surface in the room. Next is we're going to remove the soiled linen by rolling it inwards toward the bottom edge of the bed. Rolling the soiled linen inwards prevents transmission of microorganisms to the worker, and it also prevents secretions from scattering. Now we're going to dispose the soiled linens in a hamper or in a linen barrel. As 
After exposing the soiled linens and a linen hamper, we're going to remove our gloves, perform hand hygiene, and we're going to wear a new pair of clean sterile gloves. After that, is we're going to disinfect the mattress using a duster and an antiseptic solution. We're going to wipe from the furthest to the nearest. Remove the gloves and of course perform hand hygiene after. Place the bottom sheet on the bed and unfold it. Afterwards, we're going to position the bottom sheet with its center fold in the center of the bed and the hem of the sheet even with the lower edge of the mattress. Afterwards, we're going to fan fold the other side of the bottom sheet on the center of the mattress. After placing the bottom sheet on the bed, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tuck the bottom sheet under the head or top part of the mattress securely. And we're going to miter the edges. And now we're going to miter the corner or the edge of the bottom sheet. If a rubber sheet or a Macintosh is used, we're going to place it over the bottom sheet. And we're going to fan fold the other side of the rubber sheet and place it under the bottom sheet. Next is we're going to place the draw sheet in the same manner over the waterproof sheet or the rubber sheet. Now we're going to place the top sheet on the bed with its center fold in the center of the bed. And with the top of the sheet placed so that it is even with the top edge of the head of the mattress. Afterwards, we're going to fan fold the other side of the top sheet at the center. Place the blanket on the bed and make sure that it is even with the top edge of the mattress. Now we're going to fan fold the other side of the blanket and place it under the folded top sheet. Afterwards, we're going to tuck the top sheet and the blanket at the bottom edge of the bed and make sure all linens are wrinkle free. Now we're going to modify miter the top sheet together with the blanket. Afterwards, we're going to move to the other side of the bed and we're going to pull the bottom sheet first. Tuck the bottom sheet from the top edge of the bed and miter the corner. Make sure that the linen is wrinkle free. Wrinkle and fold free linen maximizes patient comfort and it decreases skin irritation. Now we're going to pull the rubber sheet and the draw sheet and we're going to tuck them both under the mattress together with the bottom sheet. Afterwards, we're going to pull the top sheet and the blanket. Again, we're going to miter the top sheet and the blanket at the bottom edge of the mattress and we're going to tuck the excess linen. Fold back the top sheet together with the blanket towards the bottom edge of the mattress to create an opening. This will now become an open bed.
last of all is we're going to change the pillowcase of the pillow. So we have here the pillowcase. So first is we're going to um, scrunch the top part or the opening edge of the pillowcase. This we're going to invert the pillowcase by placing one hand under the pillow. Next is we're going to grab the pillow. And pull down the sides of the pillowcase. Make sure not to shake the pillow to fit into the pillowcase. After that is we're going to place the pillow on the bed and make sure that the opening does not face the door. In this case, my door is in this area, therefore I'm going to place the pillow on that side. The opening of the pillow on this side. That would be all for the unoccupied bed making.